Greetings everyone, welcome back. Tonight we are going to be taking a super awesome request from an old friend, neighbor, coworker, great all around guy and super amazing model builder, Mr. Casey Burns. And uh, what we are gonna be drawing is an Italian Lambretta scooter. So we're going to get into a whole lot of the amazing specs about the scooter itself and uh, the origin and sort of the popularity and history and do a nice little drawing for y'all. So um, we're going to get into all that in the creation station. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are back in the creation station um, and we are drawing the... Um, Lambretta scooter and we're gonna go landscape style and so we're gonna start with uh, the back end of it which is like a pretty iconic shape um, and so it, it's gonna be kind of like a hump with a little slant and it has kind of an aerodynamic curve to it so I'm gonna start uh, kind of just a little slant and we're gonna get that curve kind of working up and down. And so you get that little slant going in both ways. Now, for those of you who don't know Lambretta, it um, is a scooter that is designed in Milan, Italy um, by Innocenti, which was a, well, it was really a steel tubing factory that was founded in 1922 in the, uh, Lambrat suburb of Milan, um, which um, the river Lambro runs through there. And there's a mythical water sprite called the Lambretta, which is known throughout the area. Uh, now that, that was started in 1922 um, by Fernandino Innocenti, but he actually passed a job to um, one of the earliest helicopter designers, and that was Corradino de Scagno, um, in about 1947, after the Vespa came out. And um, what he wanted was just a, an affordable ride, like a little scooter, something that was robust, that could uh, last the test of time. And in 1947, they came up with the uh, first model of the Lambretta. So we have like a little seat here and um, we're gonna put uh, a little light right here on the back, okay? And um, so these have been running and then until about 1972, it was bought out by um, SIL and it became known as the Vikram motorbike. Um, and it got changed into a three-wheeled uh, vehicle and so that was a, a big change for them but in 2017 they relaunched the uh, V special so what we're going to do is we're going to put sort of the foot placement area here and it has that aerodynamic curve again and we're going to kind of slant that back and then we're going to have like a little handlebar up here that we're going to work on in a little bit um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bring the front end out. I'm going to bring it down a little bit and I'm going to bring that up. So this part is all sort of connected and then it's got a nice little padded area and we're doing this at slightly an angle. This is where you would put your foot. So maybe we'll put like some lines right there just to show that that's like some of the texture that's going on. You put your foot right there, it would be the middle, and then there would be more on the other side. All right, now, it kind of has this front end. It sort of points off a little bit. Um, I kind of tie that in just like that. Now, coming off of this area, a little bit of a wheel covering. All right, and this is going to include the turning mechanism that I guess you would say steering, you would steer with um, for the front end. 
And so we're going to imagine having kind of a shaft coming out like so. That's going to be holding on to our wheel. So I'm going to try do my best circle impression as I can right here. So there's our wheel. It's rolling along the street. It kind of reminds me of uh, one of those old erasers. That's something you'd see in an art museum. And we'll get um, a little front end coming out like that. We'll do a little extra detail here. We'll do another little detail kind of come around the inside and we're just going to sort of work our way around with some spokes. And if you are really into these things, you can get oh, those tiny little details. We're just trying to give you the general idea right here. So, um, it has a little um, engine kick right here. And then most of this um, vehicle, it is all um, shifted with the gears uh, by hand. By hand. But they have this little kick starter. All right, and uh, apparently you gotta like crank it back up yourself. There's some uh, interesting specs on that one. All right, so then um, we're gonna have a anchor here for the rear wheel. It's gonna come across like that. And then we're gonna have, it kind of goes to get tucked up underneath. So I'm just gonna sort of try to freehand my best circle here. All right, looks a little bit bigger than the other one. So we're just gonna deal with it. We're just riding along the road in our automobile. All right, we got that going on there. And then we're gonna get a little bit more on the inside, a little bit more on the inside. We're gonna get another layer in there. And then we're going to get the spokes. And so if I had a suggestion for improvement here, I might have made that tire a little wider. But really, that's not going to affect the overall design of our image. Now, I have seen uh, certain models which have a rear kickstand. So we're looking at something that's going to kind of hold it up across like that. All right, and then we're gonna get a logo on here soon. So all y'all don't worry. Um, but to enhance the curve, we got kind of like, a, I'm gonna call it a dust cover. I keep from kicking the dust out there. And then we're gonna have our steering mechanism, which is gonna have a handle grip coming out this way. All right, and then typically you'd see your gear shifters on that and they're modeled differently on the um, different Lambretta models. And then we're going to kind of come across like so. Just going to make like a little light there. And then uh, we have our mirrors up on our steering column. So they're going to look just like that. And we're going to add it like in there. All right, so we have two mirrors, all right, one on either side. All right, so here comes the fun part. We're going to do L, and then we're going to do A, lowercase, serif style, M, M, very Italian-looking logo, and then our B is going to kind of come out and up above, so our L is going to go way down and then we're just going to have a bonus line there that's what's going to happen so we're going to have a little r e t t a coming around and then the t is going to bring itself across so that is our lambretta logo now just to kind of give the viewers a little bonus and see that again we're going to make our large scale italian version right here which is going to have a curve down and a curve up. And then I'm just going to start our L for Lambretta. I'm going to start it like that. And then I'm going to get A, M up, M up, 
L across. All right, then we're gonna have the B I'm turning back. And then the rest of it sort of going out. R, E, T, T, A. All right. And then an extra line across the bottom. And it's going to go outward. About the height of the letters. And it's going to kind of down up and down. And then the green, white, and red of the Italian flag. So, there is our wonderful Lambretta scooter. I'm going to go ahead and get a little signature 2022 kind of Italian style on there. And, you know, KC, we're going to throw in a little something fun for you. And that is going to be a little added color for this one. And so we're going to get a little green and a little red for, well, I guess we'll say the Christmas holiday. So, green on the left. And a little red on the right. And how about a little bit of a fun quote from Mo Daddy? We're going to throw it in there. Right off and Ride well. Dot, dot, dot. And there you have it. The Lambretta scooter. You can see some of the distinct differences from uh, Vespas and other scooters you may know about. So, like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you want to see for our next video. And have a rockin' rest of your week.